and uh, welcome to the DVD extras of, I guess, a day in my life on the set. This is my bike. I usually park across the street and they make me walk on. But today is a special day because we're doing DVD extras. Come on, let's go get uh, ready to shoot a show. So my first stop is wardrobe which uh, they already have established, so it's in my trailer. I get changed and then head over to hair and makeup. It'll be about an hour. This is my trailer. I know it's mine because it has the K-A on it. Those are my initials. That's the secret, people. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, I'm gonna get changed. I'll be back in just a second. So this is my trailer. This is where I spend my time if it's cold and freezing outside or if I'm exhausted and I have an hour to kill before, we, before the next shot. But usually I like to stay out on the set and chit chat and hang out and eat food. If I'm in here, I'm watching TV. There's usually not much on, so I will go and rent to buy a video. Like I'll forget that I have about 20,000 videos at home and I'll go to the mill store, which is our store on the lot, and um, I'll buy a DVD just to keep myself company. What I usually do when I first come in is I pick these up. These are our sides for the day. So that will let us know uh, what our schedule is. Of course, our lines. And be word perfect by the time we film. We're heading over to hair and makeup. And I'm in some comfortable clothes today because we're filming a scene between uh, Zach and I and we're inside our house. So this is my comfy house clothes. These are my shoes that I've had since season uh, one. And um, I love them to death because they're so darn comfortable and you rarely see my feet. Every few episodes at the beginning, they would try to give me new shoes. And I'd be like, where are my red shoes? They're never gonna see my feet. So these are my shoes. Um, they might be coming home with me tonight. <laughs> we don't get to keep the clothes. That was the question. That's my answer. Boo, we're here. They're probably not ready. They don't wanna see us now. It's 5.30, my makeup call is six. You might be able to tell they're kind of joking around in there. They're laughing, giggling, having a good old time. I don't think they want to be bothered. Should we go bother them? Let's go bother them. We've uh, invaded the makeup trailer, hair and makeup trailer. Say hi to the folks, Vito <laughs> and Janice. Hello. Is here. We're here early. Keiko so always hard. gets her nice natural makeup. It's the yeah. made up, non made up <laughs> look. That's it's the, the trick. It's the big to, lie. It's the big lie of natural <laughs> makeup. She looks Takes so beautiful. A while. That's right. So the idea is to put on the makeup so that it looks like her own skin. Right. Today is the casual look. No red lips. No, none of that. No heavy eyeliner. That's right. I try to be a diva as much <laughs> as possible around here. How will people know how important I am <laughs> if I don't throw my weight around? That's right. I just put on eyeshadows to just kind of shape. And then I was just filling in her brows a little bit to keep the attention around the eyes. Because her character wears glasses. I don't know if you wear them mm -hmm. all the time. I always see you with yeah. them on, so. So it helps to kind of pop time. the eyes a little bit so that they show up behind there. Put on a little gloss. That's I'm the done. whole thing. Ta-da. How do I look? Oh. <laughs> Now we're going over to hair. It's our last hairstyle of the season. Oh my god, don't make me cry. <laughs> Vito, <laughs> throw a convention to the wind. No. Do mean a big updo. We have to. Continuity, schmontinuity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Usually they do get the script before me. So if I'm really curious about what is uh, happening in the She'll hit me session, up for info. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see a script laying on there. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak it. <laughs> well, you should be careful, Helen's here. You might not want to see it. <laughs> I might not want to say that. What's Oops. that script doing now? Oops. <laughs> uh, Helen, hi. hi. Come on camera. The whole time oh, they're I'm doing my hair, I'm gonna talk about how you won't get on camera. Uh, we so. love Helen Pie. I always say I wouldn't exist in this show if it were not for Helen Pie. I have to give the Helen Pye love. <laughs> There's no lane without Helen Pye. <laughs> Amy, who wrote the show, um, loves Helen Pye, because everyone would. If you saw her on camera, you would. <laughs> and she wrote this character for Helen Pye, about Helen Pye. That's me. You're getting some good camera moves in here. This is going to be part of a flat ironing video. 
all about flat ironing. See, Vito always does a great job. Look at that. Fabulous. And the final juge. That's a patented juge. Yeah. It's the Vito juge. All right, Keiko. Thank you. It's our last hairdo. All right, I'm through the works. I have hair, makeup, and wardrobe on. And I'm ready to head back to my trailer. We're here uh, near the gazebo in the middle of Stars Hollow, our little town. I'm here with George Bell. Hey. Our wonderful and lustrous dialogue coach. Ah. Without whom we, uh, we'd uh, <laughs> fall flat on our faces. <laughs> it's a lot of words in the show. Our scripts are probably about 15 pages longer and the speed of delivery the actors have to, to use in, in saying the lines, uh, they decided that uh, they needed to bring someone in just to help the, uh, the actors and uh, to make it a little bit easier. So this is the scene that we're going to do uh, that's going to be up I think uh, after this next scene with, uh, and it's uh, Keiko in, uh, in Lane's apartment uh, with uh, Zach, her husband. And so I'll be reading the lines of Zach and she's Lane. We get that flow. Yeah, yeah, Gotta get yeah, the flow. Yeah. So when it's going yeah. back and forth. Let's see if I can get it in three runs. Okay. The kids okay? Sound asleep. Yeah, so. No, that's not right. The kids okay? Sound asleep. <laughs> What's, going What's going on? The kids three okay? Words, three words. The kids okay? Sound asleep. What's going on? I got a call from Luke. They want to start setting up the square for the party tomorrow. Yeah, so. So the honoree is on our porch looking out into the square and they can't start setting up until she goes home. It's my last night with my best friend. It's the last night or it's my last it's night? It's my last night. It's my last night with my best friend. Uh, How's that? That's pretty good. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. If we got it that close, cha-ching. This is my favorite place in the world. It's craft services. This is where I am like 90% of the time when I'm not on stage. It's our director, Lee. Good, strong, smart woman. So if I start whispering, it's because of your role and I can't talk, which is going to be like really soon. OK, I got to get some tea. All right, it's taking so long. Is it great being on set? People are yelling all the time. I love it. Everything's everything's fresh. Everything's late. That's good, and for some reason, I Going. We're going inside to watch the crew work. Which is most of the work of the show, really. Let's be honest. Oh. Oh. You have to watch yourself on set. Don't just walk around set talking to a camera and bump into people. That would be embarrassing. Hey. There's Keiko. How are you doing? Hi, guys. This is the parachute factory, Gilmore Girls. Yeah, yeah it's a sweatshop. We, we make all the Gilmore Girls parachutes yeah. in you, this factory right here. What you don't know is that we actually Golden have to make all the props right for the show. They make the actors do it. They're like, you're getting paid. So, what are you doing? Hello, folks. Are you ready? Hi, hi. <laughs> Patricia, Patricia trying to hide from the camera. And Lee, our director, our wonderful director. What are you guys doing right now? We're waiting to set up a scene with Scott. This is just a, a single scene without any dialogue. It's a, what we call MOS. Patricia's one of our producers, by the way. Our director and producer. I love Keiko. <laughs> she handles us actors. Now, these people have been here together seven years. And it's a long time. It's a, it feels completely like a family. Doesn't it? It does. It really it does. It does. Kids OK? Sound asleep. What's going on? Uh, I just got a call from Luke. They want to start setting up for the party tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, setting up the square. They want to start setting up the square for the party tomorrow. Yeah, so? So the honoree is on our porch looking out on the square, and they can't start setting up until she goes home. It's my last night with my best friend. Uh, they were just wondering if you could move it along. It's getting late, and they've got a lot of work to do. Hey, I'm just a messenger. I'll tell them you're done when you're done. You're done when you're done, I'll let them know. Got the done when you're done part right, but <laughs> It'll be so. better when you go and watch it in the episode. <laughs> Keiko, why don't you come in? Are you ready? You ready for my four lines? Sure. Yeah, yeah, because then you get then you look at the flow. I got a call from Luke. They want to start setting up the thingy? square for the You guys ready? Let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, the kids okay? Sound asleep. Uh, what's going on? Well, I just got a call from Luke, and they want to start setting up the square for the party tomorrow. Yeah, so. So the honoree is sitting on our porch looking out onto the square, and they can't start setting up until she goes home. It's my last night with my best friend. Yeah, well, it's getting late, and they were just wondering if you could wrap it. it uh, they were just wondering if you could move it along. It's getting late, and they've got a lot of work to do. Hey, I'm just the messenger. You're done when you're done. I'll tell them that. I'll let them know. 
what kind of Gilmore rises, meaning getting that speed up, because uh, you kind of have to kind of work it up to the speed, because uh, we get too comfortable, we start talking like normal shows, so, oh, you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just gotta get that speed going. Can't be a normal show. One more time. Um, the kids okay? Sound asleep. What's going on? I just got a call from Luke that wants to start setting up the square for the party tomorrow. Yeah, so? So the honoree is sitting on our front porch looking out into the square. They can't start setting up until she goes home. It's my last night with my best friend. Well, they were just wondering if you could move it along. It's getting late and they've got a lot of work to do. Hey, I'm just the messenger. You're done when you're done. I'll let them know. I think that was good, that was George. Good. I'm seen. Oh, yeah. Bill. That's it. Now I'm satisfied. How do we feel, guys, about this being the last episode of the season? It's a little sad. I have to be honest. It doesn't seem as sad today because y'all are here. So it's sort of like a special day. Huh? You yeah. brighten the day. OK, we're about to go inside to rehearse our scene with the cameramen and crew and whatnot so they can see the brilliance that was the scene you saw out in the gazebo. All right, kids. It's getting late and we've got a lot of work to do. Hey, I'm just messing I'm going to start at this angle right over here and action. Boys, OK? Sound asleep. Oh, what's going on? And hold their neck. Bum, bum, bum. So I just came back from rehearsal and they are lighting right now. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long because I think we're trying to get this shot before we break for lunch at 9 p.m. So um, I'm off to um, kill time, probably uh, get a coffee. So it's me. And that? I just got a call from Luke and they want to start setting up the square for the party. Very right. short. Yeah, just, just enough to clear him great. for a I'm second. Not. Okay. Yeah, maybe it works quite well. And then let him out of frame. And then. Uh, Are you okay? So, whoa, 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 back it up, back it up. So, Rolly. Slow down, Katie. A lot of work to do. Hey, I'm just a messenger. You're done. When you're done, I'll let them out. Better in one way. Get your line out just a little bit faster. I'm, I'm with my best friend. Just pick up those two cues, and I think you'll find you'll get a sharper turn. Yeah, well, it's getting late. Gotta move it along. Just move it again. Fuck. What's that? Okay? Sound asleep. What's going on? I just got a call from Luke, and they want to start setting up the square for the party tomorrow. Yeah, so? So the honoree is sitting out on our porch looking out onto the square, and they can't start setting up until she goes home. It's my last night with my best friend. Well, could you kind of move it along? Because it's getting late, and we were just trying to... Hey, I'm just the messenger. You're done when you're done. I'll let them know. <laughs> All right, Fox. Well, it's the end of my last day of season seven. Ready to go home. It's the end of the line for me. Four hours here. It's been a great day. Thanks a lot for sharing my day with me.